Angel Reese got killed. Telling her. Cheer us on. Cheer us on. Keep us going. You know what I'm saying? That's all I could do right there. That's coming. Erica L. Ayala with CBSSports.com. Angel, this question will be for you if, you if you are willing to share. What was going through your mind as you heard your two teammates right here on the dais just taking the, the opportunity to, to really stand up for you and, and what your journey has been like that we don't get to see? I don't really get to stand up for myself. I mean, I have great teammates. I have a great support system. I got my hometown. I got my family that stands up for me. I don't really get to speak out on things just because I just try to ignore and I just try to stand strong. Like I've been through so much. I've seen so much. I've been attacked so many times. Threats. I've been threatened. I've been so many things and I've stood strong every single time. And I just try to stand strong for my teammates because I don't want them to see me down and like not be there for them. So I just want to always just know, like, I'm still a human. Like, all this has happened since I won the national championship. And I said the other day, I haven't had peace since then. And it sucks, And but I still wouldn't change. I wouldn't change anything. And I would still sit here and say, like, I'm unapologetically me. I'm going to always leave that mark and be who I am and stand on that. And hopefully the little girls that look up to me and hopefully I give them some type of inspiration that, you know, hopefully it's not this hard and all the things that come at you. But keep being who you are, keep waking up every day, keep mo being motivated, staying who you are, staying 10 toes, don't back down, and just be confident. Um, so a lot of people were killing her because, you know, they, they said you, you talk about being sexualized, um, but you bring that on yourself. You try to play this victim role, but you bring that on yourself. All this criticism and backlash you bring on yourself throughout through your with your antics. So don't don't try to get on stage when you lose and be the victim. Do y'all feel like she's being a victim here? I mean, I just say I just say first things first. Um, I find the conversation funny because let's say she brought the sexualization on herself. Let's just say those people must be correct. The idea that we're just glossing over all the other shit is kind of crazy. So like, like we just casually say, I mean, yeah, I guess death threats are wrong, but the sexualization thing is like, well, hold on. Like death threats is crazy. And even if again, let's say you must be correct. And she did bring this on herself. Ultimately it's a compilation of things. If for example, if on this podcast, these niggas jump me, Oh, Dom, Domo hits me in the head. Omar shoots me in the knee. But then all Souls does is, I don't know, slam my toe, slam my toe in the door. And I complain about, damn, and my toe hurts. And y'all are like, well, I don't think you understand. You had it coming. We should have should wear shoes. Like, all right, bro, I guess. It's not the best analogy. But the point is, it's just weird. It's a weird thing that people are trying to attack some, a specific part of it versus the entire message. But, um... That's besides that. In terms of do I think she brought it among herself, that's obviously the controversial co conversation about it. Uh, me, I'm going to go with no. Not because I'm being PC, not because I'm scared of Angel Reese, but genuinely, I just think a lot of you niggas just don't go outside. Uh, and I, I just don't think a lot of you guys go outside. Um, in terms of, like, obviously, sometimes she look good, shows off, whatever, but does she try to sexualize these things a lot of times niggas don't want to hear it girls and, and say it could be cap again I've, i i'm all for sometimes e-hoes be lying but sometimes they're dead ass just doing it for themselves doing it for the friends just they want to say they look good build the confidence of or whatever so i don't think every post they thinking about your ass bro but that's just me before dama goes out I'll, I'll just go real quick i need to get my door dash um <laughs> Uh, I think uh, when it comes to this conversation, um, I don't think people should have a problem if, or I don't think anyone would have had a problem if all the criticism was just straight basketball. Just straight basketball kept it on the court. She's not her. She's a choke artist. All of, all of that shit. Because we've seen that before. But I think death threats, I think um, the sexualization shit, I do think there's a line being crossed there. And even when it comes to NBA players suffering that shit, I am not a proponent of that. These players are real humans. Uh, Danny Green does not deserve death threats because he went 0-7 from the field. Uh, you can say he's ass. You can add him on Twitter, all of that. But there is a line that 
I feel like people should not cross. If you want to cross that line, go ahead and cross that line. No one's about to stop you. Just deal with the consequences of that. Um, but yeah, you know, that's just, I, I think people are already in on the, the criticism because it's not even basketball at this point. So, um, <clears throat> for me personally, all I'm getting from this is kind of the same sentiments I got from just seeing people reactions to LeBron's clips on the podcast. People don't care what you say. People don't care what you're talking about. People don't care what the conversation is because if they don't like you, they're going to find one little thing in whatever you say, and they're just going to stick on that like nothing else you said mattered. <clears throat> the way people have attacked this situation, you wouldn't even think that she said anything else or there was anything else to this quote or the que- the question itself that was asked to her. No one takes that into consideration. People just ran to, she, she's playing about being sexualized, but look at these bikini pictures. That's crazy. I don't. But it just shows you the people we're talking about. Niggas is miserable. Um, that that's really it. Shit's lame. Uh, it's tough for her. Um, I, I'm with souls. I wish niggas would just keep it basketball. Doing all this extracurricular and everything else is, is lame as shit on every level. Yeah. I, I, my bad, Omar. I just want to say because even on the opposite end. Like when I was going on, what's her name the other day? I seen some niggas in the chat was like, yo, you're not too much, not too much. Yo, all right, bro, chill. It's a girl or anything. Dog, I'm talking hoops. So, like on the complete opposite end, dog. Yeah, let I'm a shit. I think you was ass. Like, let's to like let's keep it at hoops, but let's leave it at that. I would never attack that girl as a human being or anything like that. I think you guys just get way too personal for no reason. Go ahead, Omar. No, yeah, I I agree. Um, and maybe people don't know, I'm pretty versed in all this um this is what they're claiming is her sexualization um now mind you this is her swimsuit sports illustrated uh uh you know cover shoot or whatever the case may be and i guess if you've never like seen women or you know whatever the case may be you've never been to a beach you would of course say that this is like sexualization like just bikinis are inherently sexualized she should have did this si shoot in a one piece or she should have turned it down. Um, her pictures of herself on the internet, maybe she should have did that. But I don't know if y'all remember. I remember. Um, this was about two weeks ago, exactly, on the 21st of March, last month. Um, AI photos came out of Angel Reese uh, where they, 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 they AI'd her naked. They, they AI'd her where she had no top on and it was AI boobs or whatever. Not, I'm quoting, but it was AI naked titties. Um, when she talks about sexualization, that's what she's talking about. She's not talking about this. She's not talking about when she puts on a poster girl dress. She's not talking about when she herself voluntarily puts on a a bikini and and posts that because nobody would think that that's sexualization. She's talking about when the Randeezy send dick pics to her. When somebody last week or two weeks ago put the AI titties out of her and she even responded to it on her Twitter. She's talking about when you listen to like the Joe Budden podcast, which I listened to today, and they were talking about, oh man, that game was so good, that game was so great. Would you, would you fuck Angel Reese? Huh. M- mind you, talking about how good the game is, and then forty year old men, would y'all, would y'all take her down? Would y'all take her down? That's what she's talking about. She's not talking about what that. What the fuck? Yeah, crazy conversation. Jesus Christ. Crazy, crazy conversation for some old ass men. She's talking about threats. She's not talking about her on-court antics. She's talking about things like this. And it's nasty for me to even be showing this, but I'm going to show it because people will say I'm cap. People will say people are cap. Yes, that is Caitlin Clark photoshopped onto Derek Chauvin's uh, body, and that is George Floyd's body down there uh, with Angel Reese. That's exactly what that is right there. Um, yes, this is down with the down with the niggas with the whip. Uh, for Caitlin Clark. Uh, yes, this is Angel Reese on a leash as a dog and Caitlin Clark with the bat. Uh, is the last one crazy? Uh, oh, no, last one is Tingus Pingus the God. Uh, you got humbled by your slave owner in the comment section. Never have. They never have faces, man. That's that's what people are talking about. They're ta- And mind you, I'm taking it to players now. We're, they're talking about DJ Burns. Um, player for NC State right now, the big man that they say is looking like Zebo. He took to his Instagram story and, and put out, hey, fat ass, this is some fan mail he got. 
When I looked at your dad and then saw Junior after your name, I knew you would be totally dysfunctional, which you are. Big, tough, black with an attitude. Someone needs to wipe that shit-eating smile off your face. Hmm. Hopefully Oakland kicks your black ass, but I do not think so. Marquette will, though. Then you can go back home and eat watermelon, fatso. We successful and high in, highly intelligent blacks have a word for you and your associates. We called you, uh, it's hard R in words backwards. Keep smiling, a-hole. You are one of the, you are one sick puppy uh, like that fat, grossly overweight pig that bore you. Elephants breed elephants, eh? Trading um, paper mail for that is crazy work. Yeah. Typing it out is crazy work. Sending that out, putting a stamp on it and everything, bro. Like, nah, that's, that's next level hate. That's no life activity, bro. I, I didn't think of that one uh, skit. I ain't gonna lie. Nigga said Uncle Ruckus wrote that. If you think a black person wrote that, you're insane. But the idea that, again, nobody, nobody wants to hear from the losers. And that's what it really is. Um, to be critical about what she said, to claim that, oh, she's not taking on that villain role like she like she took on, that was on the court stuff. That was her trash talking. And if she came off the court and complained about people trash talking to her, then I could possibly see that. But that has nothing to do with that. And and with that being said, I'm going to point to Emmanuel Ayacho, Acho, the smartest dumb nigga on television right now, because his sentiments have been going off. I'm about to give a gender neutral, racially indifferent take. Now, if you want to say, well, Acho, cater your take based upon gender, Acho, cater your take based upon race, I will understand that. But I'm about to give a gender neutral, racially indifferent take. Uh oh. Angel Reese, you can't beat a big, big bad wolf, but mm. then kind of cry like Courage the Cowardly Dog. Mm. Because if you want to act grown, which she has, if you want to get paid like you grown, which you are, if you want to talk to grown folks like you grown, which you did, Post game when you told a coach for an opposing team, watch your mouth. If you want to tell people, get your money up, then post game when you take an L, you just got to take it on the chin. Nobody mourns when the villain catches an L. And Angel Reese, you have self proclaimed to be the villain. Shout out to you because you were the second best basketball player on the court and it was not close. Outside of Caitlin Clark, it was you, 17 and 20. Dog showed up, biggest game, second biggest game of your career. Absolute dog, but you can't, under any circumstance, go to the podium and now try to ask for individuals to give you sympathy. No one has sympathy for the villain. Mm -hmm. You painted the bullseye on your back. Why are you surprised when people shoot at you? Mm -hmm. So if you want to act grown, if you want to pose grown, if you want to talk grown, if you want to talk to grown folks grown, then you got to take the L like you grown. Because what frustrated me is when you want to be the villain, but you want to hope for sympathy like a hero. Stop letting these monkey niggas in these men's warehouse suits talk. <laughs> Just stop. You put, the bull, you put the hmm? bulls on you. What? What, you surprised when they shoot? Death threat? Come on now, Aicho. You, you yeah, come yeah. on now. Can we have grown criticism can we have um even if it's somewhat childish can it be relative to the sport so she's acting grown in basketball i don't think she's saying you know fuck white people i don't, I don't think he's just out here um saying yo i need all them bitches that i would to die i don't think she's saying these things so when that when that energy is not reciprocated but instead amplified to whoa this has nothing to do with basketball. Well, why are you talking about fucking me? Yo, what is going on? <laughs> so th that is entirely different. It's not about, and I know some people are going to be like, well, I talk shit. I play, I play to win. That's fine. You can talk shit and you can try to win talking shit. But again, be relevant. Just say she's the worst player you've ever seen or some shit. But like to a funnier way, obviously that wasn't funny, but to a much funnier way. Asking her to die, you know, just... Like, like the idea that a black man, and I'm sorry, maybe I'm dumbing his take down to the highest degree, but it feels this way, my boy. I'm sorry. The idea that I just heard a black man on television basically advocate for niggas to be racist is crazy. So, that's just new. It's, but, oh, that's oh. not new. Let me not actually. Let me take that back. That's not new. But there we go. Go ahead, Domo. Um, not going to lie to you. That just goes to show again, niggas are not listening to you. They're just waiting to get their shit off. Um, when Danny Green went on the podium after winning a championship and was like, yeah, this shit's tough. They can send my wife death threats. 
No one was – it was all odds. Oh, that's crazy. Hey, Danny might have played bad, but it's not sending him death threats. I don't understand how because she gave you a laundry list of things she had to deal with over this amount of time, you heard one thing and used that to compile onto the reasons on the court that you just wanted to get your shit off. To use the sexual – you want to pose grown. What does her pictures on Instagram got to do <coughs> – with death threats and being sexually, I ain't gonna lie, niggas send you a dick pic un, unaxed. That's sexual assault. I'm not gonna lie. Harassment, I'm sorry. Sexual harassment. Yeah. That is, that's sexual harassment. That is. Niggas just sending dick pics. you just unsolicited sexual harassment. You you tune into Ho Button and, and, and the gang talking about fondling you. Sexual harassment. To me, that's how I would look at it. And we're saying, oh, nah, you talk back to an assistant coach. Why are you talking? I don't want to hear about shit you got going on. You talk back to an assistant coach. You you grown, right? You grown. I'm not trying to hear this shit, bro. You get it. Omar said it best. Stop giving these niggas. I, I call them monkey suits. They pay you niggas to get in these monkey suits and get on this camera and just tap, 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 That's all they pay y'all to do. I'm so happy Shannon Sharp upgraded from that shit. But I'm, I'm mad because it opened the door for a lot of you other Negroes to think y'all can take the money and do the same thing with the same result. And it's not that. Y'all just look like tap dancers, in my opinion. Yeah, and niggas going to defend it, dancers. too. Niggas going to defend that shit, too, saying, no, nah, he's spitting that real. Someone said that's not essentially what he's saying in the chat already. And I'm like, all right, but if that's what Angel's talking about, and he's talking about what Angel's talking about, he might as well be saying But, you know, psh, ah, man, he, he ain't going to win this war. It's, it's a bunch of... Those brothers out there, unfortunately, you ain't going this war. The only thing I can remotely agree with them is the fact that nasty shit like that does come with the territory of being a public figure. Because even with us four, I'm not saying we're Angel, Angel Reese famous, but we have received some nasty ass comments individually. True. Pretty sure every one of us can point I've to got certain. Emails. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> like we can point to nasty situations that have happened with us through comments or direct messages of nasty racist shit. Prejudice shit, bigot, bigoted shit that has been talked about us. So imagine that, but to the scale of a college athlete who had 19.2 million people watching her, 2.5 million followers on Instagram. That's the only thing I'll agree with. That take specifically is nasty to me because it's such a justification of the nastiness. Oh, I just can't. Hey, you asked for it. <laughs> you wanted to be a college athlete and be great at what you do? You asked for this shit. Well, no, 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 I didn't ask for it. I'm sorry. I actually did not ask to be harassed like this. All I'm saying is the harassment is not justified um, and should never be justified just because I'm famous. But, yeah, it was nasty. It was nasty. Yeah, even, like, a part of the YouTube game when we say, hey, you're going to learn how to deal with hate comments. Yo, I don't think we 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 say that in the sense of, yo, you're going to have to deal with people that hard, harshly disagree with you, say what you upload. I don't think we ever say, yo, you're going to be ready for niggas to be racist, dog. Like, it's like, like that's not like you do, but that's not cool. <laughs> it actually shouldn't be a thing. But and, hey. but you know what's even funnier? It was funny about that. And this is what people be talking about. I didn't watch. I tried to watch the whole thing, but I just I cannot watch some people talk about women's basketball. If you don't if you don't watch it or like just don't even talk about it. I know that sounds crazy. I'll get into that at a later date. But what's it called? My 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 thing is you let's say he spoke for four minutes. Just because you started it off, yo, I'm not saying the death threats and sexualization, I'm not for that. Just want to make that clear. And then spends the next three minutes and 45 seconds. Good. Talking shit about her, why you, oh, you, you were the villain. You wanted to be the bad guy, et cetera, et cetera. You went on that. It almost seems as if you have more smoke for her, as opposed to whoever said, "Hey, I'm gonna end your life." Hey, here's my penis. Hey, let me just one day make AI news about a uh, uh, Angel Reese. It would be different if he if she left it more interpretable. She was pretty spot on about the things that irk her in her real life. Why he didn't understand that, I have no clue. Well, he plays a role, so maybe that's maybe that's uh, why or whatever the case may be. I don't know. Um, Shouts out to her. She declared for the draft too. 
Yes, yes, um, yes, 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 yes. Debunking a bunch of that bullshit about um, what's it called about the nil deals not following and all that. So may, maybe did she, you see the comments though? They still said, "Ah, oh, she's making a mistake. She would have made more money staying." Oh, that's just. We've had that conversation a million times. I don't yeah. want to go down that rabbit hole, but it's just... I, I, don't want I feel to. like at this point, though, they're saying there's so much that I may actually be missing something. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm being gassed at <laughs> nah, this point. Nah, that's how it be, though. It'd be like, am I? Everyone is saying it. You know what's funny? One of the top NIL earners in the nation, if she had another opportunity to go back, and that was actually the case with the team that she has around her, I think she would. This is also a young lady who has made that same comment She's made the comment herself. You, you know, I'm going to lose some NIL money when I go to the league. Um, so now from a more educated standpoint, I think she's been able to see that. And then I know that this isn't a part of the conversation, uh, but I have a clip from, it's a quick clip from Aaliyah Boston. Damn, I be having these things bookmarked. You got to go through all the, you got to sort through all the pornography um, in order to get to the clip sometimes. But I have a little quick clip from Aaliyah Boston, Paige, and uh, NECA and Sue Bird. Real quick, I'm just going to play this 45 seconds. I didn't think that it was rocket science, but clearly they asked us to talk about it here because it seems to be for a lot of people. So I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I don't, I don't get it either because you said it perfectly. I mean, in college, you're literally like your check is your cost of attendance. Like that is your salary. And then you get to league and you're making way more than your cost of attendance checks. NIL deals is endorsements in the league like it nothing changes those brands still want to follow you i just think people want to just put down the WNBA a lot and i think that's their easiest way of doing it is talking about the money differential between us or the nba or even now college kids of nil but i feel like it's it's kind of hard and annoying in a sense to keep repeating that like the money doesn't go away i didn't think that boom well there you go that's the bump <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, one hit. Bank statements. TK. Yeah, emails. One hit of a TKO. If if y'all care about NBA takes invalidating things, then can the player that makes the money <laughs> override any discourse, or does it not work? Because you know, let me not even do it. 